Hello everyone, today I'm going to review the Meika 35mm f0.95 for the Fujifilm system. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Andrei Dima, I'm a professional travel photographer and video maker and today I'm going to review this bright APS-C lens from Meika on my Fujifilm X-H2S. I love trying out manual lenses, especially bright ones. I get a big satisfaction when I get the focus right when using lenses that have apertures between f0.95 and f1.4. I know it's hard to get focus right with these lenses, but when you do, it's like a reward. This also helps you with patience. But enough about me, let's review the Mica lens. Build quality, the lens seems to be all metal and glass and feels nice when holding. I like the size of the lens, for a 0.95 aperture it is quite small, but a bit on the heavy side at 380 grams. This isn't a problem when mounted on my Fujifilm X-H2S, but on other smaller cameras it may be a bit front heavy, otherwise the lens is very nicely balanced with my X-H2S. I think this lens was designed for bigger cameras. It has a nice smooth finish and nicely engraved markings. The mount is metal but it doesn't have any weather sealing or electronic contacts so you won't get EXIF data from this lens. You will have to remember your aperture. Overall I like the design of the lens, it looks like a part of a lightsaber from Star Wars. The focus ring turns smoothly and it is well dampened. It has a decent focus throw that makes it easy to focus. I know it's hard to manually focus lenses that have an aperture this bright, but practice makes perfect. The barrel extends out when focusing, which means you will have some focus breathing, as you can see here. The lens cap is plastic and has a velvet interior that helps it stay on the lens. I am not a fan of this system, as I said in other videos, but Mica made the great decision to make it plastic and not metal, so the cap doesn't fall off as much when you get it out of a bag. The aperture ring is declicked and turns nice and smoothly. It is decently dampened, but sometimes you will find yourself moving it accidentally. This is something normal with this type of aperture rings. It turns from f0.95 to f16. It has a 39cm minimum focus distance and it is made only for APS-C cameras. It is also available for Nikon, Sony and other brands. Before we move to the chart test I wanted to say. This lens has a nice character, it is a bit on the warm side and makes images pop like the Fuji 35mm f1.4, maybe because it suffers from field curvature, but I really like how the images look, it's quite a nice lens. Now let's talk about image quality, when I first saw the price I thought it was going to be terrible at f0.95, even if it is a manual lens. But for my surprise, the lens is decently sharp at f0.95 in the center. Of course, with low apertures you get purple fringing, depending on what you are photographing. The softness at f0.95 is great for a video if you want an image that is not clinically sharp. Stopping the lens down gradually improves the image quality. When you reach f4, the image is sharp corner to corner, and from f8 you get some beautiful sun stars, one of my favorite effects on lenses. Let's take a look at photos taken at minimum focus distance. At f0.95 the image is soft, stop down to f2 to get a sharp image. The autofocus background looks very nice and creamy, in my opinion. This lens is also good for video when you want to isolate your subject and have a blurry background. 
or shooting in low light. Having a smaller sensor, you need faster glass to get noise-free low light footage. Or if you want to shoot at higher frame rates, which needs you to raise your shutter speed. With this lens, I can easily shoot at 60p with a shutter speed of 120 or at 120p in bad light conditions like cloudy weather and rain. I really like this lens, for the price it is fantastic, nicely built with decent image quality starting from f0.95. The 0.95 aperture is one stop brighter than 1.4. This makes the Mica 35mm a great low light option for video and photography and of course that creamy background you get with an aperture of 0.95. I enjoyed using this lens a lot, it has that nice character, the focus ring is very nice to use and the build quality is so good, making it one of the most fun lenses I've used in a while. It's not a perfect lens, but it has character, so if you are looking for a lens like this, go ahead and give it a try. Thank you for watching, if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe, this helps me grow my channel and make more videos for you to watch. If you like this lens, check out the links in the description. See you next time.